everybody, it's Careless and today's day 72 and that's a cool number. Not because it's a sexual innuendo, but because I like it. So there you go, have at it. Um, so today is part two of the story of my life, my entire life. Right, of course. So let's see, we left off um, with me at the ER and then they were like, here's some Vicodin go home, and I was like, oh, my head sore, it's really bad, but okay, um, so I get home that night, and I'm, like, doing fine or whatever, and then, um, that, like, that night, it's, like, 9 p.m., and they just start throwing up a storm, and thank goodness my roommate was there, because she was the one who would, like, get bags for me, and, you know, throw it away for me, so the room didn't fucking stink, and, and I wasn't, like, living in my own fecal matter or whatever, or, like, vomit matter. I don't know. But, yeah, that was that was cool. And it also helped that she used to stay up late. Um, so she wouldn't go to bed until, like, 2 or 3. And so I would go to bed early. Or I went to bed early that night. And I'd just keep waking up, like, every few hours. And I'd be like, bleh, bleh. And she'd be like, oh, I'm coming. Oh, my God. And she'd give me a bag. And I would, bleh. And forced me to drink my fluid because I was like, no, I don't want to drink anything. She's like, no, you have to. And then she made me drink. Not alcohol. She made me drink sports drinks because that's what you should do. Get hydrated. Get your electrolytes on. Um, so that's what happened. And like when I first threw up, because I don't usually throw up. I'm not a throw up kind of person. So I, I, it's really, so that's like weird. Kind of like how I don't usually get headaches when I'm sick, or if I do, they don't last 24-7 for seven days. So, so it's like, okay, something's really, really wrong here, especially when the Vicodin doesn't work. And I've still got this awful headache, fever, vomiting everywhere. So I call my dad, I'm like, dad, I think I'm really sick. I'm throwing up all over the place, and I can't see straight, and I can't think. And he was like, all right, uh, well, we'll go down tonight to go see you. And remember, I'm in UCLA. My parents live up in San Francisco. Well, a suburb of San Francisco, whatever. So they live up in the Bay. So they literally, that night, drove six hours to come get me. And they picked me up the next day. And, I'm, and, like, I threw up all night. But the next day, I'm feeling kind of okay. You know, I, I they pick me up. We go hang out in the hotel room. Um... I eat dinner with them. I'm, like, perfectly normal. You know, I swipe them in for lunch, and we go out and have dinner and whatever. Um, and my boyfriend came to visit me because he knew that I was sick, um, and I didn't see him at school that day or the day before. Or Like, I don't think I saw him at all that week, so he, he came by to see me in my parents' hotel room and stuff. And my parents were like, yeah, you know, we're going to take you to our hotel room so that we can watch you so that, you know, if you decide to... Like vomit your face off again, well, now, you know, we can help you with that, and you have an actual sink and toilet to throw up in instead of, you know, a plastic bag that might have holes in it. So I think I'm doing perfectly fine. I, you know, I'm eating dinner, I ate, like, three bowls of rice, I'm like, dude, I'm totally good again. Except no, because that night, I threw up some more. And this time it gets to the point where I'm like, I, the progression of vomit colors goes from like, oh, it's white because I ate mushrooms. Oh, then it looks kind of yellow. Then it looks kind of green. Then it turns yellow again. But the reason why it turns yellow is because it was eventually turning red. And I'm like throwing up blood. And I'm like, I wake up every like hour and just blah, and like, yeah, I went to the hospital, and they just gave me Vicodin, and the Vicodin wasn't working. Like, I was eating Tylenol, I was eating Vicodin, it just literally was not working. And it looked so bad, um, like, it, like I, I got up so many times that my mom, at first, she was getting up with me to, like, help me, like, pull my hair back, rinse off the vomit in the tub, like, whatever, she was helping me. And then eventually it just got to the point where she was like, I literally can't keep up with you, you are so sick, I can't even help you anymore. So I'm just like, Bleh. And, like, my parents weren't sure if the hospitals here had, like, overnight stuff, and we didn't want to drive, like, three million hours. LA is huge. You, like, people don't really know, but LA is, like, six times the size of the city of San Francisco. 
<laughs> so we weren't going to just drive all over looking for a place with an emergency room. We were going to go somewhere that we knew for sure was going to open. So then my dad was like, just hold out until 7 a.m. Like, I know that they open at 7. Just just hold out until then. I was like, Whoa, okay. So the next morning, this is the 13th, maybe? This is the 14th. Because the 12th was when I went to the ER, the 13th, my parents came down, then the 14th, that was when I went to the hospital, uh, with my parents this time, and that is for tomorrow, so, yeah. By the way, happy early pie day. I like pie, my boyfriend does not, which makes me really annoyed, uh, because he's a nerd, right? He's, like, all, like, computer science and all, like, brains on his head and like oh he's like all smart and stuff and he doesn't like pie and i can't be like happy pie day sweetheart here's this tasty pie that i baked for you and it's full of nerd things instead he just goes no i don't like pie and i was like you just you just ruined it but anyway yeah that was very sad that was what happened last year and that was that was so sad i was like but i wanted to give you things you're not letting me you're just just won't take my love. What's wrong with you? Anyway, straight for another day. See how all of you guys tomorrow, and then you can hear about how I die some more. Yay!